Hi uh, guys, um, today I'm going to show you how to make an LED modded Xbox 360 controller. First off, you're going to need a couple of things. You're going to need 47 ohms resistor, a couple of LEDs for the two prongs, some wire, wire cutter, screw gun, solder, soldering iron, and an Xbox 360 controller. Alright guys, to get started, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to take some wire, cut it, strip it about 3 inches long, and add a resistor, solder resistor to the end of it. Take another piece of wire, cut it about 3 inches long, 4 inches maybe, and strip it. Next, you're going to take your LED and distinguish which side, which prong is negative and which prong is positive. Now to do that, look at the LED and notice a flat side. That flat side means that this prong is negative. The other, the other prong is positive. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to solder two wires to two of the, to each of the prongs. Next, I'm going to take the other wire and solder it to the other prong. Alright, good. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to take your controller and notice that there's two sides with two motors. Now, if you notice, there's going to be two prongs right there. And on the other side, two prongs. You can either pick a side to side of the two wires to. What I'm going to do, I'm going to use this side. Now, what you're going to do is that there's two prongs. And on the right side, that prong is positive. And on the left side, that means it's negative. The right positive, the left negative. What I'm going to do is that I'm going to solder the positive to the positive, and the negative to the negative. Take the other wire, and solder the other wire to this one. tricky. There you go. Now, make sure this dries and I'll rip back. Alright guys, next, finishing up, what I did was I took the cat, and I took some hot glue, drilled a little hole out, took some hot glue in there, and put the LED over it. Next, what we're going to do is that we're going to put it all back together. First, what I, what I would do is take the cover, and notice that there are some spots that the wires want to fit in, like a groove. Like right here, I took some of that out, and on the other side too. Next was... I took some of this uh, face out of the motor holder, right here, so the motor and the resistor can be able to fit through. Lastly, put it all back together. What you're going to do first is that you're going to take it, take the little dome, put it in, then take the little rubber thingy, put it on, push it down, and feed the wires in the groove right here. Right there. Feed the wires right in. Put everything back together. Close it. Put the motors back in. And close it. You may notice that some of the wires right here are sticking out. Just take like a little screwdriver. Just poke it in. Just poke it. 
Right, I'm not gonna do anything. I'm not gonna close anything. Oh, a little deeper in there. It's on the rain. Right there. Right there.